What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Backhaul. This is with the T600 from Kenworth hauling today a load of Bud, Bud Light. I almost said Budweiser, but that's not right. Now I've got with this T600 the original sleeper and air dam setup on here. Uh, you do have the option of running what looks like the sleeper off the W900, but you, there's a couple different options that are different with this whole setup. And when I get on the highway, I'll go ahead and jump out of camera. I'll jump out of the in cab, go out to the outside, so I can give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. But there's really only a couple of items that change uh, exhausts, as well as one option for the lights. And also, actually, the inside dash here changes. So since I'm already here, I can show you that right now. Uh, the dash here, usually you get three different options, but I believe what happened was when I put the, I guess you could say, original T600 sleeper setup on this truck, um, I lost the ability to pick. Hey, look what he's hauling. Uh, I lost the ability to pick between three different dashes. Now... I'm not a really big fan on these dashes in the first place, but, okay, whatever. <laughs> um, but this is pretty much the only one I'm stuck with. So let me get over here. Oh, and he did too. Two objects cannot occupy the same space at the same time. This run is just a load of beer heading up to Reading to the 7-Eleven here, 46,000 pounds. I believe this is the beer trailer from Big Larry. Larry has been following me for a long time and he's had issues getting his trailers in the game here and now they're here. I believe he got a lot of help from uh, some people over on the SCS forum, so appreciative of that. I have this trailer pack, or the, it comes in the 53 foot trailer as well as the pup trailer, and uh, I also have another one which he was able to bring over from ETS, and that is the Batesville Casket Company trailer, company I used to work for and where I got my name from. Um, he's got that in here as well with the 53 foot trailer. I will be showing that off here in the near future, uh, just the way things worked out today with this load. Uh, worked out better than the Batesville one. Plus, I didn't really want to pull the Batesville trailer with this truck. Um, I'd rather try to get something a little nicer, in my opinion. Not that there's anything wrong with this truck. It's a nice truck. But, let me get it. Come on. Alright, go caddy. There we go. Get out of my way. Let's take a look outside here real quick. Now, the stacks here, they are an option. Um, 
with this cab that you choose with the sleeper, you get a choice of four different styles. You can have a single on the passenger side, single on the back side, two on the back side, or two on the sides here, if I remember correctly. And I guess I will play by the rules and go ahead and scale. Normally on the multiplayers, I say screw you and I'm gone, but today I'll play by the rules. Usually you want to split your drives. Close enough, I guess. 83,000 pounds, 3,000 over, I'm getting a ticket. But anyway. The, um, but you only get those options if you pick this sleeper, it looks like. Um, going with the other two sleeper versions, which look like they're off of the W900, you do not get the sleeper, uh, not the sleeper, you do not get the stack options. You only get the stacks on the back side of the cab. So, depending on how you want things to look, could determine uh, what kind of sleeper or what kind of stacks you get. Keep that in mind, guys. Also, one other option that disappears apparently when you use this sleeper here. Uh, normally you have an option for lights right down there beneath the driver's door. They don't extend, they're the stock SCS lights. They're either the oval or the circle. They do not extend to the sleeper. So they're only underneath the door, but apparently when you choose this option, this sleeper option here, they go away. I had them and then they disappeared. So other than that, everything you see here are all the options that you get. Multiple options for the skirts. Nothing that is open skirt. It's only this half. That's it. Everything else is full or half. Some are painted. Some look like the chrome, which to me didn't really look right. But uh, other than that, really, uh, you still are stuck with those horns on the roof. You can add horns if you want, but uh, other, you cannot delete those. So you're looking at four horns if you go that route. What am I doing here? 60? I mean, now, see? Just a second too late. Oh well. But all in all, I mean, this is a nice cruiser truck. It's a. Uh, you know, and I know a lot of people aren't into the whole flashy thing. I know a lot of people are major Kenworth people and they love the T600. They love the 660. Um. Even the T800, I mean, the T800 is still a nice looking truck, I gotta give them that. But, uh, you know, for those guys who are liking those looks, you know, this is a truck that's right up your alley, and I'm surprised if you do not have this already. Be sure to go check it out. But, I mean, it's not without its quirks. As I mentioned, the different cab options are producing different out exterior options you know that's fine I'm not gonna complain about that I doubt anyone else will either but there is still a little lack of options now if you're not a person that wants to dress their truck up and have a whole bunch of options then hey this is for you uh, but like I said before on the Sunday test drive do not expect to see skins anytime soon unless someone either a finds a template for this truck or B makes one and to my knowledge, there aren't a whole lot of people making templates for trucks. You add in the fact that you've got four different cab variations between the three sleepers as well as the day cab. Day cab's probably not a big deal. But, you know, it does throw a twist into that. So, uh, it's either go without company skins if you, you know, are fine with that, or learn how to do it yourself. Uh, actually EVR uh, last time I talked to him is talking about doing that so very good for him kudos to him doing that um, he will soon be able to well I don't know how soon but I know he said he was working on learning how to do it where he can make his own templates for trucks um, so he will have the ability very soon to ooh, that was a nice little lag skip uh, you know, make a template for this one so he can skin it. So very cool. But until then, 
we're stuck with the base colors and even then they don't really seem on par to what you would think uh, they are I mean the reds look a little darker um, you know the colors just look just a little bit off but that could be my settings that could be my monitor who knows did I go out too far here I think I did we'll see nope all right I'll wait for this guy Went with the Pack Car 500 horsepower engine, not the Cummins this time. I did the same thing last time as well, so I probably should have picked a different one just to give you guys a different engine sound. Didn't even think about it actually when I uh, made this up, and I just passed my stop, didn't I? Yes, I did. That was it right back there, okay. Well, maybe I'm hanging a Yui here in the intersection. Too busy with those damn drive-bys. Very nicely put together, though. Hood lines up nicely. Peterbilt Alcoa rims, thanks to Vipers 389. already out in the intersection. not gonna miss it this time although I am getting awfully thirsty flammable gas <laughs> that's the Heineken trailer that I have I, I got out of the steam workshop but I haven't gotten around to showing off yet but <laughs> flammable gas is what the placard says nice what everyone should wear around their neck after they have Taco Bell or something. better way to pull in from. Bouncy, bouncy. Around the light pole.
All right. And I'll do her. All parked, ready to get dropped off. So, hopefully you guys like this truck. It's not a bad truck. Go check it out if you haven't already. T600. It's in the mods document list. It is down there in the de description. So, until next time, Friday Skin Showcase or tonight's live stream, 7 o'clock central. Take it easy, guys.